Morning, guys. Time to weep and pray and live holy every day. It's out of Isaiah 33, 3 through 10. And then the next day, the Lord gave me this to Jeremiah 33, 3 through 10. Warning and an encouragement, too. Guys, we're in a free fall. And we're going to hit, and it's going to be hard. Look around. But it can be changed in prayer. One of the biggest Yahoo governors out there got caught with his pants down. But he was promoting death through abortion, uh, the, the senior citizens, all the garbage, the lockdown, and laughing about it crazy, and just, what's he got to say now? I'm not politicizing this, guys. I'm saying prayer can change things. I know a lot of people prayed about that. And that's what he wants. Not this awoke thing. We can take the W out of it and put a J in front of it because it's just a... That's what it is. It's a, just a man-made movement. We should have never been asleep. We need to weep and pray. And live holy every day. Weep and pray between the ports and the altar. Guys, this is not Burger King. You're not going to get it your way. It happened about eight months ago. I was in one of the nation's largest retailers. Looking around. I didn't have a mask on. Everybody else did. Wouldn't look at me in the eyes. I looked around. I used to study history a lot. I mean, for some reason, I like to watch the World War II, the History Channel with all the World War II shows and stuff. There's a prisoner of war camp, guys. We're defeated. Oh, no, we're not. Man, just take what's just going on. I saw it was a Black Hawk. Like hawk helicopter flying with a guy hanging from a noose underneath it and they're flying just above the treetops. Why were they doing that to promote fear to those people over there? Well, where'd they get the helicopter from, guys? Come on. It's time to pray. That's just one. I'm not politicizing you. This is one of many issues, guys. But the other one was. They're going to go after our food chain. Because they're, they're saying, uh, there was a, a World War II the, called the Red Ball Express, and they were feeding the troops, and, you know, and the army marches on its belly. Well, it's in the Bible, guys, honestly. Not that saying, but. I was at a store, the nation's largest retailer. About a third of the shelves were empty. And thought that they, I mean, they're making record profits. It's not the money that they can't buy the stuff. Why is a computer guy buying up all the farmland? Biggest farmland owner in the world, or in America. China's probably right behind it if we studied it. I have a friend, I'm, I'm in a pretty big city in Dallas. Suburb of it. A friend of mine, we were just talking, he's got some land out there and it's not a real big suburb, it's kind of sort of starting to meet on one. One of his friends went to buy some land. And she said, you know, she was going to raise some, you know, she had some animals and stuff she wanted to raise on. She wanted to buy 10 acres. They would only sell her two. She said, there's a limit. She could only buy two acres. And she could only have two animals on there. The laws have changed, is what they told her. Guys, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Things are changing. They don't want people to be independent. We better weep and pray. I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, fan, guys. Like one of my messages, lean out on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. He'll direct your path. Well, you, you're not going to get a path directed. You're not going to get the lamp. You're not going to get the light. You're not going get to get a clue to this unless you're praying. But our understanding and our knowledge, we're still trying to figure out who shot JFK and if we landed on the moon because a flag was blowing in the wind. Come on, guys. I, I'd like to know some of that stuff, but does it really matter? 
No, it doesn't. Just for our own stuff. Like I said, this is not Burger King. It's not going to be a Burger King moment. It's not going to be a movement. Not going to be a revival. It's going to be an outpouring. Now that's that's in the Bible too. But let me go back to the part about the food that's in the Bible, and then I'll go to this next one. Soul's birthright for a bowl of porridge, guys. Bad malto meal at best, probably. Probably, probably the only seasoning in it was salt. It probably wasn't hot. Probably was probably horrible. Mm -hmm. Settle for a steak dinner. How long did that last? Fifteen seconds from to scoop it up, chow it down. Come on, guys. It's time to weep and pray. It's just all about the control. And, you know, we bark about this. It's not time to bark on Facebook and YouTube and all the other platforms. Want to pick one, whatever you got. Why do they call it news feed? I was raised in Minnesota. They got, far, they got caves up there. Where they grow mushrooms. They're dark, damp. And guess what they put in there to fertilize? Cow manure. So you feel like a mushroom kept in a dark and fed bowl? <laughs> My new speed has changed so much. It's repetitive. It's not, stuff just, man, I'm doing all this kind of stuff, guys. Like I said, I'm not a conspiracy theory. It's not this deep state garbage. It's evil. And it's time to change the equation. Pray. Seek him while we can. Weep and pray. Why do you think that everybody's barking that scripture? Second Chronicles 7, 14, 2, 14. 2, 7, 14. Second Chronicles. If my people, call by my name, humble themselves and pray. Let's see my face. Time to humble ourselves, guys, and pray. Not these mealy mouth, wishy washy, sensational prayers. It's not about you. It's not about him. It's all about him. Not about, you know, that's another one of my messages. 5 a.m. Let's pray. Let's get up and pray. 5 a.m. in the morning. There's a reason for it. It's grace time for one. It's a sign of grace. And there's nothing on if you don't want it on. You can leave your cell phone off. You can leave your tablet off. You can leave your computer off. You have to pollute your mind with a bunch of ju junk. Pray. We all have to. It's important. He gave me that a year ago that it's time for us to pray as a nation. Before, before you know what happened. I'm not, not saying anything about those things. I'm just, you know, that's what they're targeting is certain key words and phrases. So, I'm just trying to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove I'm just trying to be wise and guard guard my words a little bit so that I can still get more of this out I get a lot of this in prayer guys right there at that chair right there that's why I pray all the time nothing to do with me I got saved 40 years ago guys it's been a long journey 1980 Time to weep and pray. Live holy every day. I'm going to end with this. You want to be part of Jesus is Alive in America? It's not really even, I'm not promoting that. I'm saying that the Lord has me. There's some things that have to get connected. Some ministries and some different things. So I need some technical help. I one of those. I need a sharp mind, weak back, and then I also need a strong back, weak mind. Because right now, I'm, we're all challenged, but right now I'm challenged a little bit. I've got a bunch of medical things going on. 
one of them was the 4th of July, booted out of the hospital because they had two infected toes. They wanted to cut off five of us. I said, well, what's wrong with the other three? Just get rid of the infection first. And that was the plan. And then I get booted out without any medication. Now I'm on an IV that goes, goes directly to my heart and it's dangerous. And they said, you know, you, you can't get it dirty. You can't get it sweaty. Well, I'm in Texas, guys. You sweat going to the car. <sighs> I can't get infected. Another infection. So I'm on third week of it. I got at least three more weeks, maybe ten, up to ten weeks. Well, each 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 time I take it, I take it three times a day. It's about an hour long process, and then plus another forty five minutes to clean my foot, and then plus other shots, and it's like that's just one. About, seems like 20, but it's just a few. It seems it's just you know more than one, but some of our life threatening guys more than one. I'm not gonna spend, I'm not gonna, you know, we all got issues. I just challenged a little bit, so I just want to connect the dots. And if you feel, pray about it though, really, I'm serious about this. Pray about it because I don't want you to come down here if you're not local in Dallas. I don't want you to message me. I don't want you to if, you're not, if the Lord's not telling you to. It's got to be from Him. But we could use, there's some things that need to transpire in the distribution side of it, of the Word. And some things, some resources, and some connectivity. It's a little complicated, but not really complicated. So I need some, I can use some you know, even come down and have a cup of coffee, even if it's just some ideas, pray, or whatever. Whatever the Lord's telling you to do, but make sure it's Him. That's what my whole point of this whole message is weep and pray. Live holy every day. I didn't want to put this out. But, you know, I'm starting to see a lot of things. Been seeing things. This one's, you know. All this fear stuff, guys, that they're trying to do all this stuff to us. That's why I'm not I want to put this out because I want to make people afraid. That's an encouraging message, not just a discouraging message. If you're praying and you're really seeking Him, it's like that awoke stuff, you know. We'll take the W out of it or A, whatever, and put instead instead of instead of woke, put a J in front of there because that's kind of how the movement is, guys. It's man-made. It's a bunch of garbage. He doesn't want to put new wine in old skins. It's old skins. He doesn't want a revival because it's not going to take something that's dead that didn't work. It's an outpouring, guys. That's saying that the enemy, not the enemy, that an army marches on its belly. It's during World War II, the Red Ball Express, and they were feeding all the troops. They're going to use it as a control issue, guys. All this fear... Right now, current news events saw a post Black Hawk helicopter flying, you know where. Guy hanging from a rope. They of course, they killed him. Treetop level. Why were they doing that? Fear. Where'd they get the helicopter? Who's flying it? What are they promoting? I'm not promoting fear. I'm telling you, weep and pray. Live holy every day. We can change this equation. The biggest, like I said, the biggest Yahoo governor out there. Nobody's even listening to him anymore. He was all about all kinds of things. He just got caught with his pants down. But he was promoting death through abortion, to birth, laughing about it, thought it was funny. Look what he did to senior citizens. We did it to the city, locked them up, guys. Why one, why one thing when there's many of them, many diseases out there? What's wrong with the rest of them? Well, there's something wrong with the rest of them, but what's going on, guys? Or not, you know, I look at some of my messages. Look, this is a good one, but one virus took out the church. That was a year ago. Oh, man, I got a lot of stink high from Christians. Some good people, too. Really good people. Really solid. 
that I would trust our nation, our people. We didn't have the goods, guys. We haven't been praying, guys, because it's been this wishy-washy, mealy-mouthed stuff. Love you guys. I'm not really trying to bust anybody's chops here. I'm just saying, you know, what's he telling you to do? Bring it before him in prayer. If he's telling you to pray for people, whatever he's telling you to do, but you don't even have to turn off the lights. You don't have to be sensational about it. Just do it. Watch God, watch the results. No, that's not even probably the right way to say it because God's not oriented into the results kind of guy. He's just always got a plan. It's his plan. It's not like I said, it's not Burger King. Pray. Me too. This is not, you know, there's three point back at me. I got to stand before him. I got to be accountable for these words that I'm saying. 40 years ago, like I said, it's when I got saved in 1980. I can't take this lightly. It's in the Bible. That's also in the Bible, Matthew 22. The church took it lightly. Look what he did. The king did. That's when he went out in the highways and hedges and compels people to come in. The supposed church just isn't listening. Take your sign down, guys. If you're not praying, it'll show up anyhow. You don't have to take your sign down. It's going to show up. It's, the proof's in the pudding. This is going to be a rubber meets the road message. Time. Pray. Weep and pray. Live holy every day. Love you guys. Um, talk to you real soon. And like I said, message me if you want to become part of Jesus is Alive in America. Not even partner with us, but just there's a lot of stuff that's got to get started getting connected. And I've been getting it in prayer. A lot of it's been birthed in prayer. I just physically can't do it right now. So I was like, I don't even want to put this message out because I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me or anything. We all got issues. Some of us are facing some pretty serious stuff and some people just don't say anything. Some people, that's all they do is say or say something. Pray about it. If he's telling you to come down to Dallas, come, come see me, message me, have a cup of coffee with us. If nothing, just encourage us to pray or whatever, you know. Whatever he's telling you to do, do it. If you're local here in Dallas, let's connect. Because that's what it's about. There's some things that I'm processing and doing to connect the body. Because we're, we're all connected and as we become a body of Christ, things are gonna change, guys. And then start with being birthed in prayer. That Joel's army. But it's not coming if you're not listening. No, I'm not talking about listening to me. I'm talking about listening to him. And you're not going to get get there without praying, seeking him. Early in the morning, shut everything off, your TV, your phone, everything. Cut it off. My dog's not even up a lot of times. She sleeps in sometimes. Sometimes she gets up. It's me and God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Pray. Weep and pray. Live holy every day. Love you guys.